Good morning. This is day eight, and here are the chicks in a temporary container because I'm cleaning out their box. So they're under the light. As you can see, they've gotten a lot bigger than they were when they came last week. And they're kind of looking around because this is a clear wall, so they've never seen this before. They've just seen the inside of their box. I had to put a screen on because the box isn't tall enough for them to not let them fly out. So here's the brooder. I've taken out the old shavings and um, it's got plastic underneath. Now I'm going to sprinkle some diatomaceous earth on and then put the new shavings in and then put the chicks back in. So as you can see, it kind of looks like talcum powder on the bottom of the brooder. That's the diatomaceous earth. And what that does is it helps to um, dry up any urine or any um, feces that gets down through the shavings down to the plastic. And also as they scratch, it gets mixed in with the sawdust. So if they have any worms or they have any um, anything like that, then it will kill them from the inside out. It doesn't hurt the chicks. It's food grade diatomaceous earth. If you're going to use it, make sure that you get the food grade. I'm using just regular wood shavings to put into the uh, bottom of the pen and that's what they're going to have for the rest of their life uh, so I figured it was a good thing and I have this little short handled rake that seems to be coming in handy um, what it allows me to do since the size of the box is, is uh, 24 inches high it lets me spread out the shavings very very easily so if you don't have one of those at home and you're going to be having chicks, then that may be something you want to get. Um, unless you've got a smaller box. This is from My Pet Chicken, and it's their brooder box that they have. Um, and it, it seems to be working well. I actually opened it up so the chicks can get away from the 95 degree heat. Since they're one week old now, um, I'm going to change it and, uh, and make it the uh, 90 degrees. So that'll be a good thing. I think they'll like that. They're all kind of settled down here in the, in the little temporary one right now. So now starts the fun of putting them back in one at a time. You'll notice that um, everything is up on either two by fours or little pieces of um, plywood. That's so that it's raised up a little so that they have um, less chance to um, poop in it. And also that uh, it will help to stretch their neck muscles and get them stronger for when they grow up. So it's all part of the growing process. Um, and it's, uh, you'll notice they also have, have uh, an extra long feeder here, which is good because it gets a little crowded around that little one. And since I have 15 chicks, I want to make sure everybody gets an overabundance. They're now eating, um, they're emptying that little round one at least once a day. Um, actually, last night I filled it before I went to bed, and this morning it was almost empty. So that one um, they're eating at. And then the trough one um, is also being emptied probably once every day, day and a half. So they're eating quite well, and they're doing wonderfully. I also see that I have a screen over the top now, because since they're starting to flap their feathers and crawl up on things and fly, um, I don't want them to uh, run away. So... They're very content to be back where they're supposed to be, and we'll leave them alone for now.